Hey, Newbie Dan here, and this is a Newbie Tooltip about combination countersink drill bits. Newbie Tooltips are short videos that bullet point some of the features and uses of a specific tool or group of tools. They're not intended to be in-depth reviews, and they're not sponsored by anyone. In the past, when I needed to drill a countersunk pilot hole, I would first drill the hole, then switch to the countersink bit and drill the countersink, then switch to the drive bit and drive in the screw. Sometimes I'd use two drills so I didn't have to switch bits as often, but I still had to switch between the drill bit and the countersink bit because I only have two drills. Now I use something called a combination countersink bit, sometimes just referred to as a countersink drill bit. It has a drill bit and a countersink. The countersink can be moved up and down so you don't drill too deep. Just make sure you tighten down the set screws securely. Countersink drill bits are sized like wood screws, number six, number eight, number 10, etc. So there's no question about what size bit to use with what size screw. They come in metric sizes too, of course. Some countersink drill bits have straight twist bits and some have tapered bits like these. I prefer these tapered bits because they make it easy to get the drill started in the right place. As you can see, these come with quick change shanks. Regardless of how you feel about quick change shanks, in this case, there's no reason not to have them. Pilot holes don't need to be that exact, and you can use them without the chuck adapter if you want, no problem. If you countersink a lot of screws, like I do, these bits are well worth the cost. Check out the description for links to products seen in this video. Just scroll down, click Show More, and scroll down until you see the links. And if you like what I do here, click that Subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that bell to get notified about new videos. Thanks!